Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We have started a series in which we have strengthening our organic chemistry through MCQs where I am solving one MCQ with detailed explanation and giving you one for as a homework so that you can write its answer with the explanation in the comment section to strengthening your GOC general organic chemistry so this is a question on your screen question is the stability of carbon ions in the following so first of all carbon ion means carbon with a negative charge so here all of them have negative charge on the carbon now what is their stability order so to decide its stability order we should keep in mind that the one which can hold negative charge which can hold electron pair is more stable means the negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom so see all of them are carbons so if they are carbons how could their electronegativity is different yes they have different electronegativity because of different hybridizations in first case let's say rc triple bond c negative so in this case you know carbon has one lone pair and one sigma bond this negatively charged carbon has one lone pair and at the same time it has sigma bond one sigma bond because you know pi bonds are not hybridized only sigma bonds are hybridized so it has one sigma bond one lone pair okay because carbon has total four electrons out of four three are shared so one left on it and one negative charge means one is gained so it has one lone pair and one sigma bond that's why this carbon negatively charged carbon in first case is sp hybridized now come to second in the second case you know it is benzene ring now this carbon which has negative charge it is attached to two other carbons pi sigma bond and it has one lone pair so that means two sigma bonds one lone pair so it is sp two hybridized carbon which has negative charge is sp two hybridized now third one in third case it is r i will write it like this because it has hidden meaning you will come to know after some time see it is like this again it has lone pair two sigma bonds that means it is again sp2 hybridized two sigma bonds and one lone pair fourth one in case of fourth one you know it is c like this means the carbon which has negative charge means it has one lone pair and three sigma bonds so it is sp3 hybridized right you know hybridization means the number of lone pairs plus number of sigma bonds so if number of lone pair plus sigma bonds lone pair plus sigma bonds if this value comes out to be 2 then it is sp hybridized if it comes out to be 3 then it is sp2 hybridized if it comes out to be 4 then it is sp3 hybridized that's it now what is the relation with electronegativity so electronegativity is proportional to the s character why is it so 
because you know s electrons are very close to the nucleus s electrons have more penetrating power okay so if you see in sp3 you know what is percentage of s character total number of s orbitals are 1 out of 4 total s is 1 out of 4 because 1s and 3p so it has 25% s character now sp2 so in case of sp2 what is the percentage of s character s1 and total 3 means it has 33.3% s character sp so what is percentage of s character 1 by 2 in 200 means 50 percent s character that means carbon which is sp hybridized is more electronegative than carbon which is sp2 hybridized which in turn more electronegative than carbon which is sp3 hybridized this is the order of electronegativity now next point that means if negatively charged carbon is sp hybridized that is more stable that anion is more stable because negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom right so it means this one it is most stable now confusion is here see this is sp2 hybridized this one is also sp2 hybridized and next is this one that means it is clear that alkyne is most stable and alkane is least stable now in between them this is the case that is benzene with negative charge and alkene now if we compare them both are sp2 hybridized but here you know r groups they are sp3 hybridized and they are releasing electron towards carbon which in turn releases electron towards this negative charge so this negative charge is less stable but in this case this carbon is sp2 hybridized other carbons are also sp2 hybridized okay that's why they are not giving electron to this negative charge on the benzene ring that's why this one is more stable than the alkene so order is clear now that this anion is most stable being most electronegative carbon then it is this one then it is alkene and last one is this one so this is the order of stability now one more thing which i want to draw your attention to that part that if this part is most stable this anion is most stable that means it is weaker base because it cannot donate electron pair easily because this negative charge is strongly 
attracted by sp hybridized carbon that means it is the weakest base and out of this and this is the strongest base that means there are conjugate acids that means this acid is most acidic and this one is least acidic so these are the things which you can which can which you can draw from uh, all this stability of anion because you know what is acid which can with give h plus ion but after giving h plus ion what is left anion so more stable anion more is the conjugate acid see i will write one like h a so it give h plus ion means it is an acid and what is given anion this is acid then obviously this is conjugate base so if it give h plus ion we get anion if anion is more stable that means acid is strong because it give h plus ion easily and if this anion is stable then this is a weaker base strong acid has weak conjugate base and weak acid has strong conjugate base right so that means if we see the order so order is most stable anion is of alkyne and least is of alkene anion of alkene okay so first okay first is in a b d and fourth is in a and d second and third that means first then second then third and then it is fourth so that means a option is correct okay now question for you so this is a question for you so why i am doing all that uh, exercise that what is acid what is base it is because of this question so this is the question for you just do it and write your answer in the comment section do reply beta and all the best god bless you all happy learning jai hind jai bharat